Hi guys, this is Prishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In the previous tutorial, guys, we have downloaded our jQuery UI library files. So, if you will extract it, you will see this folder. When I open it, you will see these folders. First one is a CSS folder, second is a development bundle, and third one is JS folder. So, in this video, guys, we're gonna use, uh, we're going to use a jQuery accordion inside our website. Guys, firstly, check the, we will check the size of these folders. So, if I'll check it, you will see it's approximate 5 MBs. So we, do, we don't need to include every file or every folder inside our website. So we need just three, uh, these three files. First one is a CSS file and second and third is a JavaScript file. So for that guys we will make a new folder in which uh, we will use our, our jQuery accordion. So I will give it a name of JUI. You can give any name. And uh, in this I will make two folders for, uh, first one is a CSS folder and second one is a JS folder so inside CSS I will copy all the CSS files so I'll go to my jQuery UI library folder and inside CSS uh, this is my theme name it's Blitzer uh, when you will click on it you will see these uh, two files and uh, one folder that is of images folder so you can use a uh, custom dot min for, uh, version also which is a minified version and you can use custom version or uh, extracted version also so we will copy all these three files and I will paste it inside this JUI folder inside CSS folder now I'll go back and from JUI library folder I'll go to JS folder and I'll copy all three JavaScript files now I'll go to my JUI folder and I will open the JS folder and I'll paste it. Now, all the files are uh, added to a folder. So I will close the first folder. Now, I will go to uh, start menu. I'll create a new document using Notepad++. So, firstly, I'll make a HTML document and I'll save it inside this JUI folder, which we have created. JUI and I'll give it the name of index.html save it now guys firstly we will include a CSS file which is inside CSS folder so I'll go to inside my head text and I'll type link href it, it, it is inside CSS folder so I'll type CSS forward slash now I'll copy the name of this file you can also use a minified version it depends upon you so I'm using the first file so I'll write jQuery UI 1.10.2.custom.css it's a CSS file and uh, and we'll type it's type it's text CSS now CSS file has been included in the same way we we'll include the JavaScript file so I'll type script source and it sources it says it is inside JS folder and uh, First one is a uh, jQuery file, which is a jQuery library file. So its version is 1.9.1. .1. So I'll paste its name and .js, which is its extension. Guys, always try to include jQuery file at the top. And now we will, in the same way, we will include the second file. Script source equal to its inside JS folder, and its name is jQuery UI 1.2.custom.js so I'll paste it and its extension is JS now the, all the files are, have been included inside a document so now guys we'll go to uh, go inside body tag and we'll make a div tag and I will give it an ID of one you can give any name so inside this ID we will uh, type you can type any header tag so inside header tag uh, a header tag and a div tag inside header tag uh, it will be the title of our uh, accordion tab and this will be the content of that accordion tab so I'll type this is first content in the same way I'll copy it and I'll paste it three times and I'll type two three and then four so I'll type this is second content this is third content and this is fourth content firstly guys I'll open it in browser you will see it is not looking like a accordion so now we'll make it a accordion so I'll type script 
type text JavaScript and inside these script tags we will write some jQuery. So I'll write document dot ready function first document dot ready function and then a dollar sign and a single quotes or double quotes whatever you want to use so a pound sign and the name of the ID so it's one dot you need to type accordion because we're gonna use accordion and then a semicolon if I refresh now you can see our accordion has been created you can control its uh, width also so for that you will type style tag and give it a width of uh, whatever of your choice so I'll give it a width of 300 pixels now we'll see guys you can uh, set its options also so inside uh, in between these uh, brackets you will type two curly brackets and in, be in between these two curly brackets firstly guys uh, we will set it its event because when we are clicking it only then it is opening the tab so uh, we will write event and then double quotes and I will type mouse over so if I refresh now we will see when I hover my mouse over it will show the content we can set more options just for an example if I refresh now you will see by default the first tab is active uh, just for an example guys you want to active the second tab or third tab so I'll type a comma here and I will type uh, active and then column then uh, parameter so I'll type one it will act, uh, make the second tab by default active because guys you know that it always start with zero if I type zero it will make first tab active so uh, guys you can also uh, change its styling just for an example you will think that I don't want to use this uh, tabs uh, background color or this color by default so in that case you will remove this CSS file if I remove this now you can see and I will set its event to click firstly uh, guys I want to tell you the by default event by default event is click event now you can see if I'll click it now we'll give it some style so it's inside uh, one div uh, the name of the ID sorry and uh, it's a h2 tag so h2 tag then I'll give it a background of uh, red and a color of uh, white so refresh now I can see in the same way you can style uh, this div tag or it depends upon your choice. How uh, how much? Uh, sorry, it depends upon your choice. Uh, uh, which color you want to give to it? So, guys, this was about jQuery accordion inside our website. So, if you have any question in your mind, then you can leave a comment below. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see you in the next tutorial.